Recognizing a mutual need for programming space, YWCA Princeton and the Princeton YMCA embarked on a capital campaign to create a shared space in 1954. The construction began in 1957 and was completed the following year. Nowadays, people often associate the Princeton YM with its pool. It was built out of necessity because at the time, there were no public integrated pools in Princeton. Swimming in general was considered a luxury that only the wealthy could access regularly. The day that the new, uh, newly constructed pool was officially dedicated was a very big deal and that at the time the governor uh, even attended. It was a major step forward, symbolic of the progress of the state, the country, uh, to present a fully integrated swimming pool, which had a great deal of power in stating that people should be together uh, in a way that historically we know was not the case. The reality was that the staff and probably largely the members were not reflective of the community as a whole. Um, the good news is that today, that's not the case at all. For the YW, the pool would play a big role in launching Encore, the predecessor to our current Breast Cancer Resource Center. Twenty years later, Encore was established by instructor Helen Kohut as an aquatics-based therapy for women recovering from mastectomy surgeries. What she was trying to do was to get other YWCAs all over the country to understand the importance of exercising and how the w women could start using their arms again because the kind of surgery was really invasive. So from the very beginning that was that was really one of, we were one of the leaders. The BCRC continues to grow and thrive and evolve in a way that plays such a critical role in the lives of so many women here in this community. Um, even among our own staff, I might add. Our programs included citizenship exam preparation, advanced English as a second language classes, and leadership workshops for young women. Newcomers and Friends has been around since 1959, welcoming women from around the world and from just across town. Members of the Newcomers Club used to have to leave after two years um, now, you can stay in Newcomers for as long as you'd like. That is why the club's name changed from Newcomers to Newcomers and Friends, because we just really like to hang out with our friends. When you join Newcomers Club, you're welcome to um, join an interest group. We have over two dozen, or you can start your own. And the interest groups, I think, are the heart of the club because they show how women have so much to offer and so much to learn from each other. Um, interest groups over the years have ranged from you know, bowling and golf. Currently we have dining out, we have lots of hiking, foreign policy discussions. Recently a member started a doggy play group interest group because she had a new pet. So the interest groups are just a way for women to share their hobbies and interests and to, um, to enjoy each other's company. These newcomers were invited to join the group for conversation and tea, and nursery care was offered to ensure that any woman could participate. Sound familiar? Accessible child care gave women the opportunity to volunteer or work, and it's still an essential resource for families to this day. The 1950s marked a decade of important changes at YWCA Princeton some of which would lay the groundwork for programs still making an impact today.